we present CADEX, Learning Canonical Deformation Coordinate Space for Dynamic Surface Representation via Neural Homeomorphism. This supplementary video part 1 will briefly present the main idea of the paper and go through the architecture. For more visual results and comparisons, please see part 2. We investigate the problem of designing neural representation for dynamic geometries. Different from the widely studied 3D neural representations, in order to generate a set or a list of deformed surfaces of one instance, the representation should model a global reference shape and the consistent deformation or correspondence between any deformed surfaces. The majority of dynamic representations are model-based. The canonical or reference shape is the template mesh, and the deformed surfaces can be obtained through skinning functions. However, their strong dependency on the poses, skeletons, or template meshes limits them to specific categories and is not general enough to model our rich dynamic 3D world. On the contrary, recent implicit flow representations make no assumption of the models. They represent the shape in the first frame of a sequence as the reference shape by 3D implicit field and model the space deformation to the future frames by neural ODE or MLP. But their choice of the reference frame turns out to be a random choice that will complicate the shape prior learning. And their modeling of the deformation is either inefficient or ignores the real-world deformation properties. Different from the current literature, we design a novel dynamic representation based on the inside of deformation factorization. We model the consistent deformations via compositions of continuous invertible canonical maps and model the reference shape in the induced learnable canonical space. Our representation is simple, efficient, and guarantees many real-world deformation properties. Now, we introduce the main idea of our paper. The canonical deformation coordinates space and the canonical maps. Assume surface SI, SJ, and SK are deformed surfaces of one instance. If the surface topology is not changed, the points on the surfaces are associated with the well behaved bijective deformation functions FIJ, FJK, and moreover, FIK. We should note that. If we directly model the deformation functions between any surface pair as the function f shown in the figure, we have to consider the cycle consistency of combinatorial many deformation functions between surface pairs. Instead, we propose a novel factorization for the deformation. We model the deformation function as the composition of the forward and the inverse of bijective canonical maps, which map the points on the deformed surface to a global canonical reference surface and then back to another deformed surface. The canonical maps are denoted as H shown in the figure with green bidirectional arrows. Note that each canonical map only associates one corresponding deformed surface to the global canonical surface. Our factorization enables modeling the canonical shape directly in the induced canonical deformation coordinate space. We model the canonical shape, U, in the canonical space by a standard implicit field. Since the canonical maps are learnable, the induced canonical space and canonical shape are also learnable. Finally, each deformed surface can be immediately obtained through the inverse of the corresponding canonical map. The bijective canonical maps can be simply and efficiently implemented via conditional real NVP or NICE. The novel factorization and its implementation induce several desired properties of the real-world deformation. Our representation guarantees to produce cycle-consistent deformation or correspondence and preserve the topology of the surfaces. If desired, the canonical maps implemented by NICE will preserve the volume of the geometry. Compared to previous methods, our modeling of the deformation is simple, efficient, but simultaneously guarantees real-world properties. Our representation of the canonical shape in the learnable canonical space is more flexible and stable for shape prior. Until now, the definitions above would lead to infinitely many valid canonical shapes and maps. Since any surface that is topologically isomorphic to the deformable instance satisfies the definition. Our representation is fully differentialable, 
we will present next an architecture that automatically finds the best canonical shape and associated canonical maps that benefit the downstream reconstruction and correspondence prediction accuracy. Our architecture solves the dynamic surface reconstruction and correspondence tasks based on the proposed representation. The input of our model is a set or a sequence of the sparse or partial point clouds shown on the left, the output is the surface reconstruction as well as the dense correspondence shown on the right with correspondence encoded as colors. We first go through the training phase. The input point clouds are first processed by a deformation encoder that produces deformation embeddings for each frame. These deformation embeddings will later be used as the conditions for neural homeomorphism to characterize the canonical map that associates each deformed frame with the canonical frame. We utilize conditional real NVP, or NICE shown as the box marked with H, to implement the invertible canonical maps, which takes input coordinates in the deformed frame and transforms them to the corresponding canonical coordinates conditioning on the deformation embeddings. For every point in the point cloud observation from each frame, we use the homeomorphism to transform them all to the canonical space and directly do a set union to form a canonical observation in the canonical space. The canonical observation point cloud is summarized to a global geometry embedding via a standard point net. Now the encoding part is finished and we summarize the input as a set of per frame deformation embeddings and one global geometry embedding. To predict the occupancy field value at frame TI, the query position in the deformed frame is first canonicalized to the canonical coordinate via the homeomorphism conditioning on the corresponding deformation embedding of this frame. The canonical coordinate is then sent to a standard occupancy network decoder conditioning on the global geometry embedding to predict the occupancy value. This prediction is supervised via a standard binary cross-entropy reconstruction loss. To predict the correspondence, the source point coordinate is first canonicalized to the canonical coordinate and then directly mapped back to another frame via the inverse of the homeomorphism conditioning on the target frame's deformation embedding. If the ground truth correspondence pairs are given, we can optionally supervise this prediction as well. If we only look inside the canonical space, after training, the global geometry embedding is expressed in the UVW canonical deformation coordinate space like this. During inference, the encoding part works the same as the training phase, and we obtain the global geometry embedding as well as the per-frame deformation embeddings. Then we regard the neural homeomorphism as well as the canonical occupancy decoder as a whole query function so that we can march the first deformed frame and extract the mesh in the first frame. Note that this marching is equivalent to marching the canonical space, so we also obtain a mesh of the canonical shape shown on the right. From the mesh of the canonical shape, we can immediately and parallelly obtain all meshes for other frames via passing the vertices of the canonical mesh through the inverse of the homeomorphism and using the same connectivity. Since these generated meshes share the same connectivity, the mesh correspondence is therefore directly produced. More details are in our paper. And more results are in part 2. Thanks for watching.